Hello children, in this video we shall learn about how to do multiplication by a three digit number that is the multiplier with a three digit. Let's say in a village called Hoshiarpur, the villagers decided to start a business together like a cooperative society and the business would be to make the embroidery cloths and each family in the village agreed to give 350 rupees for this business for this cooperative society and let's say there are 125 families in this village so how much money did they collect for this embroidery business so we will find out how much total money they make so there are 350 rupees collected per family and there are 125 such families so how do we find total money they're going to make we are going to do multiplication so we wrote 350 rupees per family multiply by 125 families we do underline below it and how do we do multiplication very similar to how we do by a two digit number so here 350 is the multiplicand and 125 is the multiplier multiplier is a little big number three digit number but we will do it exactly the same way we have learned for two digit so first we start with the ones place of the multiplier so first we multiply 5 by 350 starting from the multiplicand's first digit also so we do 5 multiplied by 0 which is 0 5 multiplied by 5 is 25 so 5 is written here and 2 goes in the carryover and 5 3 is a 15 and 15 plus 2 is which is a carryover it's 17 so we write 17 here so 5 multiplied by 350 or 350 multiplied by 5 is 1750 we cut this 2 on the top so that we don't get confused in the next digit of the multiplier so we cut it and then we start with the tenths place of the multiplier which is 2 so we are going to multiply 350 by 2 but before that we are going to write x below the ones position of the previous product so we are going to write below this 0 and x we start multiplying 350 by 2 so 2 multiplied by 0 is 0 2 multiplied by 5 is 10 so 0 is written here and 1 goes on top of the 3 and that's why we cut the 2 so that we are not confused which one we need to add in the second step 2 multiplied by 3 is 6 6 plus 1 is 7 not 6 plus 2 2 was from the previous multiplication 2 multiplied by 5 gave 10 and 1 went as carryover so 2 3 is a 6 plus 1 is 7 we write 7 here so now 350 multiplied by 2 is 700 now we move to the next position of the multiplier which is 1 and but before that we cut this carryover also so that we are not confused and then we write x here and now we start 350 multiplied by 1 which would be simple anything multiplied by 1 is same as the same number so 1 multiplied by 0 is 0 1 multiplied by 5 is 5 1 multiplied by 3 is 3 so we have done the three single digit multiplication starting from 5 then with 2 and then with 1 350 multiplied by 5 350 multiplied by 2 350 multiplied by 1 and now we are going to do an addition of all these three things products so first we start from the ones position 0 plus 0 plus 0 anything which is x or cross is 0 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0 then we go here 5 plus 0 plus 0 is 5 go to the next position 7 plus 0 plus 0 is 7 1 plus 7 is 8 8 plus 5 13 of 3 we write here and 1 goes to the carryover to the next position and then 1 plus 3 is is equal to 4 so the villagers collected 43,750 rupees by this process 350 rupees per family 
and 125 families contributed to it. So they have 43,750 rupees collected for their embroidery business. And they started the work. The ladies looked on the internet to find out the nice designs and then add embroideries to it. And because they were working together, they can work on each other's strengths. And they made beautiful clothes. And then those clothes they plan to sell to the nearby big carnival happening in the city. And what rate they want to sell? They want to sell at 750 rupees per garment which they have made. And they made 250 such beautiful embroidery cloths or garments. So how much money will they collect if they sell all of them? 750 rupees per garment and 250 such garments were made by the villagers so we find the total money if they sell by multiplying and how do we do it we write 750 as the multiplicand multiply by 250 as the multiplier and then we write underline below it and we start the multiplication from the ones position of the multiplier first we are going to do 750 multiply by 0 the next step 750 multiplied by 5 next step 750 multiplied by 2 let's do it we'll do faster this time 0 multiplied by 0 0 0 multiplied by 5 0 0 multiplied by 7 0 anything with 0 is 0 multiplied by 0 then and now we are going to multiply 5 by 0 5 multiplied by 0 is 0 5 multiplied by 5 is 25 so we write 2 as the carryover on top of 7 then 5 multiplied by 7 is 35 plus 2 as the carryover is 37 so we do 37 here right here and now we are ready to move to the next digit of the multiplier which is 2 and now we are going to multiply by 750 multiply by 2 but before that we write x below the ones digit of the previous product so we write x here not here here okay now we start doing 750 multiply by 2 so 2 multiply by 0 0 2 multiply by 5 is 10 we write 1 above 7 and 2 multiply by 7 is 14 plus 1 as the carryover is 15 and we write 15 here now we have done all the three products starting from 750 multiply by 0 which is this 750 multiply by 5 which is this 750 multiply by 2 which is this we are going to do addition of all the three products starting from the ones digit of the first product. So 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 5 is 5. 5 plus 0 is 5. 7 plus 0 is 7. 3 plus 5 is 8. And 1 is 1. So what has happened here? The villagers made 1 lakh 87,500 rupees by selling 250 garments at 750 rupees per garment. So they collected 43,750 rupees as we saw in the previous product by putting in their money and they made 1,87,500 rupees jointly. So their 43,750 rupees became 1,87,500 rupees. So all the villagers were very happy. Their money multiplied, worked together and sold those garments and their prosperity multiplied and so is their happiness. So stay united, unity is strength and that way you can do a lot of things together and be happy. Bye-bye children.